<laughs> welcome everybody welcome back to another calculator review i got a very special one right here this was given to me by a friend and it's his personal calculator so i can't destroy it but uh, i do have it and i will review it so this didn't come with a package because it's his personal calculator so i decided you know to enhance the experience i wrapped it up in some torn out pages from the lord of the flies it's a pretty good book not gonna lie uh, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for this. So let's open this. Boom. Now, it's got a little leather case. This is very nice. I, I really like it, just so you know. And here it is. So this is a very special calculator because it's not like your normal one. It operates a little differently. You see that RPN right there? That stands for Reverse Polish Notation. So this isn't going to look like your regular calculator. So first, let's just turn it on. And already, it's it's it looks weird. It's disconcerting to look at, in my opinion. Okay, let's do something basic with this. Let's try and do 5 plus... See? It didn't work. You can't do that. It's not that simple. This is very difficult to use. I'm not going to lie here. This doesn't have an instruction manual. How am I supposed to f figure it out? Square root? <laughs> it doesn't w I can't even test it. Mmm. It's just squaring it. Time. It's just... It's multiplying it by 7 over and over. <laughs> okay. We've got a problem here, because this is not working out. I have no idea how to deal with this, and it's going to make for a very boring episode. So I'm thinking we actually should do something a little more interesting. And so I am going to figure out something to do. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I googled reverse Polish notation calculator. I tried to find an instruction manual online for this couldn't find it. This thing is probably old, 1980, yeah, 1987 it looks like. Uh, so I'm really not sure what to do with it. So I thought maybe because it's it looks kind of rare, it's old, it's cool, that we can make modern art out of it. So I've decided what we're gonna do is we're going to make a house of cards and then try and balance this on top of it. So let's see how that goes. So as you can see, I am kind of abhorrent at making houses of cards. So I was pretty unsuccessful. However, I did figure out I can put the cards in the crannies of the calculator and then it sort of works. Okay, after about five minutes of failing miserably at uh, trying to make a house of cards here, I have shaky hands. I've decided that it is futile and that I will give up on that, yet I still haven't figured out any sort of good use for this calculator. It's basically a paperweight since I have no clue how to use it, so it's weighing down paper. Maybe we can do a little bit of a, a balancing act, is what I'm thinking. like a trap for math students who love stupid calculators yeah okay here we go so <clears throat> okay we have it a second time now this is very delicate so let's get some math paraphernalia out here say a calculator at least the shell of a calculator, slide it in there. And now an unsuspecting math student is gonna come along, look for this calculator and go, oh no, I've been crushed by this calculator. And then they're gonna be having a bad day after that. So I guess it serves that purpose. Um, get that out of here. Okay, I can't figure out anything to do with this guy, so. We're going to score it instead. Scoring machine looks. I'm going to give it a 18 out of 10. 18 out of 10. Uh, functionality. I'm going to give it 
a negative 18. It, this is, for, it's, oh, oh, I'll give it a plus five for its ability to be used as a holder for a house of cards, because I kind of got one going on the back there, so I'll give it a five. It, it really deserves nothing else. I couldn't even get this guy to balance on anything. It made a bit of a good trap, so I'll give it one. And really, that's all we're going to get. So if we... There we go. Total of six points. Um, that's just not good. Six out of 40. If we, so I think, oh, I know what we can do. Let's simplify that fraction. We're going to do some math. Six, six out of 40 can simplify, can simplify to three out of 20. Now let's figure out approximately what that is using, try and use this calculator. Three, divide 20. <laughs> nope. Three. Nope. All right, so we can't even do that. So let's dead that. Three divide twenty equals zero point five one five. So there we have it. Fifteen percent. So we can simplify this down to 15%. That is a failing grade. So I'm going to have to say, I'm sorry, Hewlett Packard 32SII or Roman numeral 2. You are a bad calculator. That concludes this episode. We have this guy. It, this was a bad episode, not going to lie. So... Just look forward to something in the future. I have a I have an abacus coming up that I'm gonna review. Should be pretty good. All right, look forward to it. All right, have a good time.